This month on The Card Life, presented by Luke. I started to reach out to athletes, asking them if they would sign some cards. I didn't have a name or a vision of what it would look like or where it would take me. A sporting event and also tie in the card aspect, it seems like it's such a natural fit. And I thought this would be a good way to spark interest in some younger kids or some adults like myself that collected as a kid. Welcome once again to The Card Life presented by Loop. I'm your host, Matt Strong. This month we're in Tampa where we have more great stories about the sports card hobby. This month, we'll introduce you to a Florida collector whose player autograph cards raise money for important causes that support veterans. You'll also hear how teams across the country are creating unique promotional nights using sports cards. And I'll rip some packs looking for a Red Sox legend raised here in Tampa. Up first, let's head down to St. Petersburg, home of one of the best causes for the sports card hobby, Signatures for Soldiers. This is kind of where I kind of store the cards um, that the players have signed. My wife and I moved to North Carolina late 2007. We met a gentleman who was starting up a nonprofit to help homeless and disabled veterans. We got involved with him. We're helping with fundraising and doing projects. I sat on the board of directors. And in 2014, my job took us out of North Carolina. At that time, I was just kind of really thinking about how can I continue to help support this nonprofit. I've always collected autographs as a kid. It was just a hobby that I continued into adulthood. Um, so I, I started to reach out to athletes, asking them if they would sign some cards with the intent of me selling those, 100% going to the charity. And, and that's really kind of how it started. The original goal was $500. I didn't have a name. I didn't, <laughs> didn't have a business plan or, or a vision of what it would look like or where it would take me. I can distinctly remember I had gotten some cards signed by Barry Lyons, who was a catcher for the New York Mets in, in the 80s and 90s, and posted on social media, hey, you know, I have these cards. Barry Lyons signed them. I'm asking so much per card. If you're interested, let me know. And a lady that I don't know, never met, reaches out to me and says, I'll give you $300 for all of them. And, and I remember just sitting there thinking to myself, I'm like, there might be something here. <laughs> On the website, signatures for the number four soldiers.com, there's access to uh, Google spreadsheets, break them down by sport, and you can look there and search it by player, by year, by card type, <laughs> by teams. If you see something that's on there, you know, you message me and then I mail them off to you. Um, and it's, it's really that simple. With the money that's been raised, we've been able to help fund wheelchair ramps so that they can continue to live independently in their homes, renovations of bathrooms to make it more handicap and wheelchair accessible. One of the other neat things we've begun to do is partner with a program through the VA that get homeless veterans into stable, safe living. And it's a great program. The only downfall to it is, is that these veterans, they walk into this one bedroom apartment with literally clothes on their back and, and whatever they're carrying. So we've been able to utilize that money to go ahead and help furnish the apartments. Being the charity partner for the National Sports Collectors Convention, we put together an online auction. This year it's been hosted by Pristine Auction. Pristine is waiving all of their fees, so all of the bid price goes back to signatures for soldiers. And then also every year a gentleman that owns Ripping Wax, he has freely given us booth space to set up. So we bring our inventory there, set up and purchase on the spot. Original goal, $500. At the moment, we are quickly approaching $150,000 raised. Through Signatures for Soldiers, I've been able to meet some veterans that 
I haven't realized how much Signatures for Soldiers has impacted them. And I remember reaching out to one veteran through social media and I said to him, hey, I would love to have you come to the National as my guest. Just want you to come and just enjoy the National. And it wasn't until after the fact that I found out that the moment that I reached out to him, because of his own struggles with being in, in war and losing his battle buddies, he was thinking about killing himself. And just simply because I reached out and, and said, hey, I want you to come to the National, it, it, he literally told me that that saved his life. I, I, I can't put a dollar value on that. This has become so much more than just a fundraiser. Up next, we go from East Coast to West Coast, highlighting how teams across the U.S. are doing unique promotions around the sports card hobby. Nothing beats the feeling of walking into your local card shop and looking for that next big hit. The excitement, the community, the passion. With Loop, that feeling's everywhere you go. Loop supports shops from all across the United States as they sell sports cards 24-7, anytime, anywhere. Join streams where everyone's bonding over the hobby and celebrating their big hits. Whether you're getting into cards now or you're a seasoned veteran, the Loop app is a fun new way to collect. Go to loop.card slash cardlife on your phone to download the Loop app. You'll even receive some free credits that you can use towards that first purchase. Loop is proud to be the presenting sponsor of The Card Life. Here are some of the best break hits from the last month. Oh, let's freaking go! Jalen Waddle downtown. JD's pulling the fire. That is sick. Very nice. Oh! Holland Color Black! Join the Loop community now and receive free credits towards your first purchase at loop.cards slash cardlife. Loop, a card show in your pocket. Card giveaways at games have been going on for half a century, but as the hobby evolves, so have the way that teams use sports cards in their promotions. So far this summer, we've seen some very innovative and successful ideas. Let's start in New York, where MLS's Red Bulls partnered with Bleecker Trading and Tops for a sports card night at their June 18th game against Toronto FC. The theme, bringing the hobby and live sports under one roof. We're always just looking at new and innovative ways to get people in the building, but once we also get people here at the arena, how we put on the best fan experience for them possible. One of the things that actually sparked my interest when I was at a card show, because I'm actually, yeah, I'm a huge card collector myself, I just saw the massive opportunity of folks attending card shows and something clicked that like, there has to be something here, the natural synergy of sport, the collection of cards, you know, the, the, get people to a sporting event and also tie in the card aspect. It seems like it's such a natural fit. The night included a pregame card showcase and the first 10,000 fans received Red Bulls cards from a collection curated by Tops for the event. When we talked to Tops, they were very excited about the idea. They've always tried to do something like this, and they said they never actually got to pursue it. So they were on board. I basically said, like, hey, can you guys produce officially licensed trading cards for us as a giveaway? And they were saying, of course. So we kind of broke it down to we had 15 players uh, on trading cards, so each player got the unique card. Each pack contained four cards. And the biggest thing for us was we want this to be as natural tie-in to the hobby as possible. And if you go all the way back, the reason why they call trading cards is you're supposed to open the packs and trade with your friends, and that was kind of the fun of it. And I can't tell you how many fans were just like sitting on the stairs and trading cards with their friends like, oh, do you have an Aaron Long? Like, no, I have a Caceres, want to trade. It was really cool to see that kind of like natural form of trading cards and the hobby uh, come together. Midway across the country in Spearfish, South Dakota, the Spearfish Sasquatch, an independent baseball league team, held their own baseball card night on July 3rd. It kind of just organically came from me kind of getting back into card collecting over the last couple of years and I thought this would be a good way to maybe spark interest in some younger kids or some adults like myself that collected as a kid and kind of let it go to the wayside and maybe they want to get back into it. We got a bunch of cards that were donated to us that we're going to just hand out at the gates to anybody and everybody that wants them whether they're six months old or 98 years old, just to get them into their hands. And then throughout the night, we have a bunch of unopened packs, boxes, and that kind of thing that we're just gonna give away as part of our on-field entertainment and those kind of prizes. 
I reached out to the Twitterverse and the card collecting Twitter world is massive and the response we got was insane. Like half the cards I got that showed up on our doorstep, I have no idea even where they came from. Like people are just more than willing to help out the hobby and to get kids excited or adults reignited about this passion they had when they were younger. And it wasn't cards being given away in San Francisco or bobbleheads, but both. The first bobble card giveaway took place at Oracle Park before their June 12th game against the Dodgers. The bobble card celebrated Matt Cain's perfect game in 2012. Baseball cards have really just kind of skyrocketed in popularity again in the last couple of years. And we thought about maybe doing a Matt Cain bobble card and inserting a baseball card and really commemorating the moment. Then we're like, what if we just combine the two and maybe kind of take something that has a little bit more of a solid backdrop to it and that kind of looks like a baseball card, but then also make portions of it, you know, bobble. And that's how we just kind of want to try something new and throw it out there and, and people seem to like it. It's really kind of that fist pump moment. Uh, Kane just kind of putting his fist in the air after he got that last out. And based on initial popularity and response, I think we're going to look at doing at least a couple more of these moving forward. Note for 2023, we need a Matt Strom bobble card night as long as they can get the hair right. PristineAuction.com. It's baseball stuff, it's basketball, it's wrestling, it's Marvel stuff. Tatis, Patrick Mahomes, Wayne Gretzky, LeBron James, autographed Anika Adidas jersey, Mookie Betts, Muhammad Ali. Personal favorite thing on the site are the 10 minute auctions. You can bid on the item for only 10 minutes. Highest bidder wins. It's free to register, free to bid. Sign up today, pristineauction.com. Pristine Auction is a proud sponsor of The Card Life. Head over to pristineauction.com where over 10,000 sports card auctions end every week. Earlier in the show, we showed how Pristine Auction helped raise money for signatures for soldiers. In Phoenix, Pristine took us behind the scenes to show how they list thousands of sports cards on their platform every week. We visited here last year and kind of got an overlook of your entire operation, but today just want to focus more on the cards and what, what a card goes through when it comes to pristine and how it gets to auction and everything. And I mean, you guys have an unbelievable amount of cards here, so. Yeah, we do. We, I mean, sports cards have just really kind of blown up and uh, we actually added, pretty recently we added a weekly dedicated sports card platform. So that is every Sunday night, uh, no reserves. And it's usually well over a thousand lots in there every single week. Uh, so yeah, there's some pretty pretty nice cards that come through there. And then we have other formats too, but the sports card auction has really been taken off. And uh, that's what a lot, a lot of this is that you see here. And then our process is as fast as you'll find anywhere. So when it gets to the back door, generally within right now about 10 days from the moment it lands, it gets listed in our auction. So okay. it's anywhere from 10 to 14 days is usually average from when it gets here until it gets listed. So we have several formats, including a daily auction, which is super popular. Every day, the auctions are live for only 24 hours. Okay. And there'll, there'll be tons of sports cards in there also. And then it's either that, generally sports cards are either in our daily auction, our 10 minute auction format, or our weekly sports card auction, which okay. has really gained a lot of steam. Tony Dorsett, Rookie Auto, Hall of Fame inscription. That's really cool. This is a pile of some cards, just to give you an idea of what's live in our auction right now. So the Joe Burrow Select Rookie Auto. These Ooh. are, and again, these are all live right now. There's a Steph Curry Rookie Auto. That's a nice card right there. LeBron James, of course, the classic Topps Rookie. And this one is in a BCCG 10. That's a Wayne Gretzky Rookie Auto. And that's at a, the autograph is graded at 10. So that's a beautiful card there. So if you're a consigner and you have cards to sell, actually with our sports card platform, uh, any card that sells for 500 plus is 0%. We offer a pretty aggressive fee structure that's 0% pretty quickly. I don't know how that got in there. <laughs> <laughs> that is I a premium it. card that right is... there. That is a gift. Another Straight guy who's hit a home run off there. you, I'm sure. Another guy took a D, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, obviously the hobby's taken off in the last two, three years, but like what's it been for you guys sports card wise over the last few years? Yeah, I mean, We've always had sports cards. Uh, they've always been a part of what we've offered, but 
I mean, the last year, year and a half, it's just boomed. You know, yeah. just collectibles investors are now in on it. It's, it's really blown up, and, and that's why why we've dedicated the platform to it. So once we saw that boom happen with sports cards, it just made sense to have a weekly dedicated platform just to sports cards. So for sports cards collectors, you can go right to it and everything's in one place. One other thing we did about a year ago, we started Pristine Breaks, pristinebreaks.com. So we get some allocation from some manufacturers and do box breaks, group box breaks with those all, as well. So ton of fun. Oh, yeah. I wish I was the one opening all the cards. Yeah, I mean, that's whoever got that yeah. job uh, is winning. Yeah. Get to open, open cards all day. Up next, a great break that includes hunting for the rookie cards of three Hall of Famers. Nothing beats the feeling of walking into your local card shop and looking for that next big hit. The excitement, the community, the passion. With Loop, that feeling's everywhere you go. Loop supports shops from all across the United States as they sell sports cards 24-7, anytime, anywhere. Join streams where everyone's bonding over the hobby and celebrating their big hits. Whether you're getting into cards now or you're a seasoned veteran, the Loop app is a fun new way to collect. Go to loop.card slash cardlife on your phone to download the Loop app. You'll even receive some free credits that you can use towards that first purchase. Tired of paying 10%, 15% or more to sell your cards, comics and digital collectibles? How does 1% sound? Too good to be true? Well, not anymore. MySlabs.com is the web's premier user-driven marketplace for buying and selling slabbed cards, sealed wax and now slab comics and digital collectibles. So the next time you're forced to pay 10% or more to sell something from your collection, head over to MySlabs.com and join the 1% revolution. Alrighty, here in Tampa, so uh, Wade Boggs, hometown, obviously a Red Sox legend. Got a box of 83 tops here. Uh, this is one of the Michigan Wax, so we rip into this, see if we can find one of his rookie cards. Um, also, Sandberg and Gwynn as well, so should be a fun rip. We're gonna have plenty of bubble gum though. I have tried it and I do not recommend it. 36 packs, 15 cards, and one piece of bubble gum. <laughs> Ajuhar. There you go, Tony Gwynn. Looks pretty good. Tony Armas. Nolan Ryan. Rich Hill will be jealous when I tell him this is what we did today. <laughs> Another Nolan Ryan. Johnny Bench. There's Cal Ripken. Biff Pocoroba. P-O-C-O-R-O-B-A. Wilcock. There we go, Ryan Sandberg. Boom. And George Hendricks. No bogs. Dang. Got God. Topps Chrome Platinum Edition. 52 style. So I have six lights, which don't guarantee you anything other than four exclusive black and white parallels. And then we have a hobby box, which guarantees us an auto. So we'll save the hobby for the end. So we got an X Fractor here. Cody and Ching Ming Wong. He's actually my teammate in Kansas City. Hey, this is sick. Joe Maurer, uh, like cognac color, I guess, to 75. It's really sick. Oh, dang, what's that? This uh, one looks crazy on the back. Austin Riley, Domingo Santana, Francisco Mejia, and then Jake Cave, like green, I guess. That is a pretty sweet looking card. Got like the 70 anniversary border. Got Chris Sale. Scott Rowland, Jason Veritek, and Jose Abreu, blue to 199. The blues do look crisp though. 
Williams, Fowler. What the heck? You ever seen that? What? It's been our biggest hit, two for one. Mike Trout and Dennis Eckersley, gold 70s. 70th anniversary insert to 50. Raul Mondesi and Dave Stewart auto. Here's your autograph. Pitcher for the Oakland Athletics. Oh my goodness, that is a Tom Brady autograph. Oh, oh my, one of one diamond Lamella Ball rookie. That's a hit. Wow, that's a big card, guys. Oh, quarterback Joey Burrow. Yes, please, out of the first box. Oh, oh sick. Mike Trout, on card autograph, 9.5, autograph grade 10. Loop is proud to be the presenting sponsor of The Card Life. Here are some of the best break hits from the last month. Oh! One, one of one! one! Oh my God! Buddy. We might be flying this one to you. Chris Paddock. Oh my gosh! Welcome back, Stanley! Juan Soto! Join the Loop community now and receive free credits towards your first purchase at loop.cards backslash card life. Loop, a card show in your pocket. I would say in the last two years, my opinions changed on it. I was all about the rookie card, but now Bowman's got my heart and I would have to say first Bowman. Having athletes get behind what I'm doing and, and being able to offer that support has been so humbling, so gratifying. Probably the, the, the one that really still makes me laugh um, is living here in the Tampa Bay area. It's, it's a Friday night, sitting at home watching the Rays play the Orioles and um, just messing around on Twitter and all of a sudden I get a message and it's from Adam Jones who was playing for the Orioles at the time. And he says, you know, he basically says, hey, really like what you're doing, want to support you, you know, um, you know, I'd like to donate something to the cause. And I'm sitting there, I'm looking at the phone and I look at the TV and I look at the phone and I look at the TV <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, I literally message him, I'm like, wait a minute, shouldn't you be playing right now? <laughs> And he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm not in the lineup tonight. I'm getting some treatment in the clubhouse right now. Thought I'd just reach out to you. The neat thing was my wife and I went to the game the next day. And um, sure enough, you know, I, I told him that we'd be you know, down by the bullpen. Sure enough, I see him peek his head out of, the, out of the dugout. He disappears for a moment, comes out, has a bat in hand, signs the bat for me, you know, just spends some time talking with us. I mean, just really a genuinely good human being who you can tell just, he just really cares. It's been amazing to meet these men and women that are the absolute best at their profession. And to find out that they're even better human beings is, is amazing. That's all for The Card Life this month. And next month, we'll be in Kansas City to talk sports cards in the city where my big league career began. Until then, I'm Matt Strom. We'll see you next time on The Card Life presented by Luke.